I am really thrilled to show you the new weighted batch preprocessing script in PixInsight. It is new and improved, it has better functionality, and it more clearly and understandably communicates to you how to configure it in order to process your data. So I'd like to begin with a tour of WBPP, highlighting some of its differences to the old version. There aren't really that many, but there are some important distinctions and uh, new features that you can take advantage of. The calibration of images is another area that I'd like to go over after that, an understanding of certain elements of biases and darks and flats and things like that that need to be introduced so that I can do what I really want to do is just show you the various configurations. So I'm going to give an example of setting up WBPP for a DSLR type example. And then uh, next we'll look at uh, one-shot color camera data and CMOS configurations uh, that deals, for example, with uh, flat darks and things like that. And then uh, another example where you have the monochrome configuration, both CMOS and CCD. Uh, beyond calibration, WBPP can also be used to do a little bit more of the automation, including registering the images and combining them. And that includes uh, a weighting scheme that I'll explain. And then, and this is one of these cool new things, uh, WBPP now allows in a very natural way, it's designed so that you can do multi-night imaging or you can group your data in what I call universal grouping in any number of infinite possibilities. So I'll show you what that looks like. I'd like to spend a brief bit of time explaining all about the vagaries of optimization, but I'm saving that till the end because you put that at the beginning, and it often makes things confusing. Uh, and then finally, after I've explained all that, I can show you a full multi-night example that takes advantage of basically everything uh, that I've covered up till that point. So I might have some other things in there, but these items certainly are the main things that I'll do in the subsequent sections. If you are just starting in PixInsight, the instructions that I'm about to give for WBPP will allow you to very quickly jump in and take advantage of the script. You can start processing your data. Now, if you're already familiar with PixInsight and you've been using WBPP, you'll find here, we go under the script menu and under weighted batch pre-processing, that the script actually looks fairly similar to what it used to. It still has these panels of biases, darks, flats, lights. Uh, the buttons are along the bottom, just like it used to be. But if you look over here at the right, you'll find that many of the check boxes that controlled some of the logic under the global options, they're gone. In fact, the ones that are gone are the ones that often would cause the most confusion and problems. So that in and of itself is great. But that logic, and the way in which now WBPP is going to communicate information to you is now all contained and encapsulated in the control panel. This is huge. It's big because it's going to minimize the number of problems that people have with configuring uh, the tool to calibrate their data uh, for different kinds of sets of data or different sensors and things like that. Uh, what I, as an instructor, am really looking forward to is that when people do have problems and they use this tool now in a single screen, if you just take a screenshot of this screen, you can very quickly diagnose what the problem is because it'll contain basically all the information you need to see uh, to see if there is something wrong. And that, again, as an instructor, wow, that is just super, super powerful. Now I'm gonna give a tour, a detailed tour of these uh, buttons and sections and things like that. But before I do, I'd just like to offer a reminder of the way in which WBPP works. It is using processes that already exist in PixInsight. And I would just like to stress this idea because sometimes um, there's some confusion about this. Using WBPP will give you the same answer, assuming you've configured things in the same way or properly, it'll give you the same answer as if you did things manually certainly in terms of the pre-processing. And that is what this script is fundamentally. It's for doing the pre-processing, uh, but it does have some other functionality that we can also take advantage of, some extra features that go beyond just pre-processing. Uh, but I'm certainly going to highlight the pre-processing part 
And that part is the part that uh, I want to be sure is very clear and very understandable. So I'm going to exit out of here in order to highlight the fact that WBPP is basically using two or three processes. Uh, the main one that it's using, of course, is image calibration. And it's also taking advantage of image integration. So let me just bring those up for a moment here. When you make master files, that is, you need you have a whole bunch of raw calibration data, maybe they're biases or darks or flats, you need to combine them in order to uh, create a master. So image integration is the tool that's used to do the combining. Now, when you have certain kinds of data, you might need to calibrate it. So darks, sometimes you need to subtract a bias. Flats, you need to subtract something, a flat dark or a bias from it to calibrate it. And then of course the lights, you need to calibrate with um, the proper calibration data. So image calibration, this process does that work as well. So these are the tools right here that WBPP is taking advantage of. If you go beyond what is this idea of pre-processing data of what I would just call the initial data reduction, you can then go further steps, which include aligning the data, weighting it, and then combining it with image integration. So aligning data means that you're using yet another function here, another process, which is star alignment. That is taken advantage of by WBPP as well. And I'll highlight how you can go further than pre-processing if you want. So you can align and then of course combine the data to output combined um, information of light frames of your, of your data. So these are the main processes that it's taking advantage of. And uh, the point again I want to make is that if you input the same things here as what we do in WPPP, you're going to get the same answer. It's not like the script is doing something magical that is going to give you a very different result. So I wanted to highlight that. There is one other thing I need to point out, which WBPP takes advantage of, and it's a very important idea, which is that when you have images, let me see if I can open up a recent image here. This one's probably fine. Whenever you have images, there's two parts of an image, actually. Uh, there's one part that you see, that's the data, that's this stuff here. And then there's another part of the image, which you don't see directly, but is always there in some form, which is the header, the FITS header in this case, but images in general can have header files that contain information, and that uh, information is used by programs, is used in this case by WBPP, the script, to do things like matching times and uh, filters and all kinds of stuff. So you should know what it looks like. Keep this in your mind's eye, what it looks like, even though we don't see it directly when we're using WBPP. Here is a FITS header. This is the information for this image. So you can imagine, I don't know, at the top of this image or something, there's just a whole bunch of text and then there's data. Well, this is the text that's at the top of the image. And this text has what are called keywords on the column on the left and then values and the subsequent immediate column to the right, and then a you know, comment or explanation about what it is. So these keywords and values are accessed by WBPP. Uh, for example, you can see the date, you can see here's the exposure time, that's something that WBPP is going to look at to grab the temperature uh, filter. There's green, for example, of the type of image it is, light frame, all of that stuff is here. So Remember to keep this in your, your mind's eye, how WBP is doing the job. Uh, this is what it's looking at to do that work.